You must be riding the bicycle forwards within the limits of the course at all times. Alex, is there anything really basic that you don't know how to do? What can't you do, Victoria? I never really learned to ride a bicycle. Ah. OK, so... I have to do something as well as riding a bike. Where is he? Take the hat from the mannequin and put it on the other mannequin. Fun times. Ah, oh, read the letter on a bicycle. How hard can this be? You don't have one with stabilizers, I suppose. No. I mean, I've seen it done. It's not like. Ah! Okay. Ah! Literally, uh, we have, uh, how long have I got to learn to ride a bike? I mean, one minute. One minute. For the final race, we've got Gus Khan and, in the interest of contrast, first-time cyclist Victoria Corrin Mitchell. Here we go. <laughs> Good luck, Gus. OK, brother. On your marks, get set, task. Oh. <laughs> ah! OK. Oh. You haven't crossed the line yet, it's all right. Okay. All right. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! You think the trick is constant motion? Is that how it works? Okay. Ah! Uh, I have to pick up a thing. Yes, please. But I, that's so dangerous. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to stop to pick it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. There we go. There. There. Ah! Uh, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't! Oh. I was actually psyched up to drop it in and then I didn't. I can't do it with one hand. There we go. Oh! Okay, 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 there we go. There. Ah! 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 I can't! No, I'm sorry. You can't do this with one hand. <laughs> It's too fast, it's too fast. Put that on there. I'm a speedy cyclist. I am a speedy cyclist. Now I've got to post it. Ah, it goes very quickly down here! Oh, my God! Oh, God. I stopped the clock. Is it finished? Oh, God. <laughs> I stopped the clock. Can I try riding it a bit more? I feel like I've found a new skill. <laughs> Stress of the tasks, it's actually much easier. Look at that. Oh my god! Oh. Ah! Oh. It's actually quite touching yeah. to see you learn to ride a bike. And yet, I was still hoping you'd crash into that hedge. <laughs> <laughs> Make a cute toy for a cute dog. Is there going to be a real dog? Yes, but you will not meet the dog. Why? The dog will have five minutes with your cute toy. Most engaged dog wins! You have 20 minutes. Oh, that's ages. I really expected something good then. Your time starts now. OK. You literally can't beat a tennis ball. That's the problem. I mean, what I would ideally do is rub it on a cat. I guess you don't have one. I haven't checked through the whole box. I mean, I could wee on it. What time does this go out? <laughs> I'm going to try and cut out a cat. You stay cute, innit? Yes, please. Oh, that is cute. You must have done that before. I've never done that before. You and I look at that and see a cat. Do we? <laughs> Give it a... Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Victoria. When you got at the tennis ball and popped it down, I accepted your authority. Mm. 
Then I even accepted your authority when you suggested rubbing a cat on it. <laughs> you didn't even lose me at the idea that they might be attracted by we. Mm. Where you lost me is that the dog might be attracted to your we. Well, it would be hard to get someone else's we. I was alone in the room. <laughs> Come in, Marco. Oh. Hi, Marco, you have five minutes starting now. This is Chunky, Marco. Look, there's a toy. <laughs> Hello, Marco. I'm running out of time. <laughs> Marco, you've got 90 seconds left. Oh, look. Look at Chunky. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's your time up, Marco. Wow. Done. Looks like I backed the wrong horse. Yeah. <laughs> Actively offended by Chonky. Right. I mean, worse, not even aware of Chonky. <laughs> <laughs> even when Alex demonstrated Chonky. Marco bit your balls, though. Victoria. <laughs> yeah. The, the, he, he went in on the cat, and I think Marco's initial instinct was, oh, there's a cat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to rip it to pieces. And he came around the front and he went, someone's already been at this cat. <laughs> <laughs> right in form a 30 second jingle. You must reach into the barrel to find the subject of your jingle. Then pop a balloon to discover the instrument that you must play under your jingle. Head spin. <laughs> you have 15 minutes. Your time starts as soon as you've chosen your subject and instrument. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit out of me. Snakes in a can. Just snakes in a can. Yeah, your jingle is about the snakes in a can. Victoria? Yes. Why are you putting them away? I don't know, really. For the, for the integrity of the product. OK. Oh! <laughs> oh, annoying. Right, I'm going to leave it there. What about right. the integrity of the product? Well, <laughs> never mind. It can just be like that. Swanny whistle. Swanny whistle. Oh, have you played the swanny whistle before? Mm-hmm. I've got black belt. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a swanny whistle. Oh, I'm thinking of a kazoo. <laughs> How do you change the note? Does it have anything to do with this thing? Yes. Maybe a bit quicker. Are you meant to change note by turning that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere good to put a crab stick that doesn't sound foul. <laughs> I'll never better it. <laughs> Seconds before this composition, didn't know what her instrument was. Yeah, same product, same musical instrument, different outcome. Do you know someone who likes a surprise? Buy them snakes in a can. See the joy in their eyes. You had a sunny background designed at great expense, no doubt, and the <laughs> demeanour of a funeral director. <laughs> I it was quite smiley there. It's less joyful than, <laughs> do you know someone who's been injured in an industrial accident? No. <laughs> <laughs> Need to kill someone. That genuinely seems to me to be just jolly. Buy them snakes in a can. I mean, they can't do anything else after the accident. <laughs> Seeing what you're saying, I think that looks like a jolly person going, This is going to be fun at a thing. Right. There it is. Well, you keep telling yourself that while you <laughs> nurture your one point. <laughs> oh my god. Have the longest telephone conversation without the other person knowing you are trying to have a long telephone conversation. Understood? This is awful. During the call, you must not mention television or Taskmaster. This is awful. Every minute you must reveal and carry out an action from the board. Oh. 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 
<laughs> if the person you call says any of the key words, you must hang up immediately. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. You must call someone within two minutes from now. All right. Oh. Victoria? <laughs> I could ring no. OK, OK, OK. This is awful. <laughs> Given that you can contact anyone, why is this so, such a horror? Oh. <laughs> it was awful. I'm not a practical joke person. No. I find practical jokes aggressive awful. and and oh. Look, let's crack on. Let's have a look. We're going to get Victoria's shame out the way. Oh. Add to it with a little <laughs> bit of guzz. Here we go, Victoria and guzz. Oh. Oh. Off we go. Right. So. Hello, how are you? I'm all right. What if... What? <laughs> what, 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 if, what, if, what have you been up to? <laughs> same old, same old. Nothing very exciting. I've had a bit of a... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I, do you know what? I'm sorry. I, um... You're in a giggly mood. Afternoon drinking. I haven't been doing afternoon drinking. And do you know what? I haven't been drinking that much because I had a weird thing with the dentist and um, weirdly I had a problem with my tongue. I'm not even going to tell you about that now. But so I've been drinking a bit less. But how have you? How have you been? Like, uh, it's been a couple of weeks, but uh, it's been a terrible year. No, it has been a bad year. It's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> I have got honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have, um, well, that won't be a problem. <laughs> but it's nice that you went out, though. It's because it's been weird weather. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lovely rainbow. Did you see that? No, I must have missed the rainbow. Mm. Oh, I'll, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. OK. <laughs> I forgot they had to not <laughs> This is absolutely one of my favourite tasks ever. You did a lovely bit of work with the tongue thing. You <laughs> very quickly moved on from the subject. Yes. Guaranteeing that he wouldn't repeat it. But I think he helped you throughout by shouting pretty down. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down a couple of things. Oh, it's been a terrible year. <laughs> It's a tough world. It never gets easier. <laughs> so he, he was filling your silence in nicely. It, you don't even see your friends for months. It was a bad period of time, but we just weren't seeing our friends. So you ring it really means something to them. Oh, it's lovely to hear from you. And what they want is what are you? But they were you there? <laughs> what <a> weird weather! <laughs> oh my tongue's strange. <laughs> <laughs> drink all this drink with your mouth open. Your mouth must be visibly open throughout. What is it? No idea. The fastest wins. Your time starts and your mouth must open when Alex blows the whistle. I can't do it. <laughs> it can't be done. I mean, can I ever use a straw? I tried it. No. Funnel helps really. No, it's too disgusting. It's too disgusting. I'm drinking it. <laughs> oh, that was great. I've stopped the clock. 